Okay, you went out, you bought an ASIC, or you built a big mining rig, time to plug it into your kitchen, and uh-oh, you started a fire. Yeah, let's not start a fire, let's not do that, because no, you can't just plug these into the wall, that's not how it's gonna work. But, it's not as hard as you think, I'll get you started. I'm gonna teach you how to handle the electrical on your mining rig. Most households in America are running on like 15 amps at 120 volts. You gotta realize that amps times volts equals watts. And just so you know, this is a very important rule. Never go over 80% of whatever amperage you have. Going over 80% is gonna flip your switch, it can start a fire, there's a lot of bad things that can happen, just be safe, don't do that. If you have a big mining rig or ASICs, you gotta realize that if you just plug that into your kitchen outlet, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that you have a dedicated breaker, meaning a breaker that is only going to be used by your mining rig. Now, if it's not a dedicated breaker, at most, I personally suggest that you just don't go over a thousand watt, like you buy a thousand watt power supply, just don't go over that and you'll most likely be fine. But again, it depends on what else you're plugging into it. So I do suggest that if you're getting serious and you're building a bit bigger, you should always, always have a dedicated breaker that is solely for mining. Now, what you should do is call a professional electrician, just get them on the phone and say, I want X amount of amps. For example, I actually have a low amount of amps. I'm on like 30 amps and I want 250 volts. And also tell the electrician that you want an L630 for your outlet. Now, just so you know, the outlet's actually gonna look like this. It's not gonna look like your normal plug. And to actually plug things into it, you're also gonna want what's called a PDU. Mine right here, I have a metered PDU by Trip Light, and this one is for 30 amps. And the PDU is gonna help you handle the amps and spread out the power, obviously. You might have noticed, I showed the PDU really quickly, but the slots are also different. So to connect to the power supplies, you're gonna need different cords as well. So the most normal ones are gonna be your C13 to C14 cords. They look like this. And for your more big boss status kind of power supplies, the ones with like the, the square looks, it's gonna be a C19 to C20. You are gonna to need to have those different kind of cords to connect to the PDU. So a summary of what I was talking about is get a 250 volt setup with however many amps you want and get a L630 outlet. Make sure you get a good PDU. I'll make sure I put a link down below for that. And don't forget as well to get C19 to C20 and C13 to C14 plugs. Another aspect of electrical, just so you know, you don't wanna actually max out the power supply that you buy. You gotta realize that it's actually gonna be more energy efficient if you're using like, let's say, half of the power supply's total watts than if you are maxing out the entire power supply. So you'll be using less electricity if you don't max out your power supplies, which means you wanna preferably have a larger power supply than you actually are going to need. And please remember that when it comes to electrical, it can be dangerous, okay? I remember when I first started mining, I was insane and I decided it'd be a great idea to buy a really cheap, like 1,800 watt power supply for less than $100, it was unbranded, and it worked. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. And then like a few weeks later, it literally caught fire. Electricity is dangerous. Don't mess around with it. Please be safe. Please call a professional and don't just go as cheap as possible for your power supplies. You are putting a lot of money into the hardware, okay? The last thing you want is for any of it to catch on fire. Last thing, you obviously need to check how much you're using. Like I was talking about before, it's important to know how much load you have. I personally have some smart devices on the breaker itself. I have what's called the VU, but I also have smart plugs, and there's also a really cheap device you can get called a kilowatt, and it's gonna track it for you and tell you how much you're using. You gotta buy one, you gotta know what you're using. It's very important. Obviously, if you don't know what you're using, none of this matters, and you are going to cause a fire. Talking about fires, make sure when your power supply is connected to your actual graphic card, whichever power supply is connected to the graphic card, the same power supply should also be powering the riser that is connected to that graphic card. This is really it. Uh, the electrical is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And as I said, definitely call a professional, especially if you're not good with this kind of stuff. But once you get it set up, it's not something you have to worry about. And you know, fires won't happen to those who are prepared. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I make a post. Don't forget to check out my Discord server link down below. And guess what? I want you to have a great day. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I prevented a fire. <laughs> have a good one, guys.